Alright, so today's video is the initial setup of the Pi. On your very first boot, you're going to get this screen with Jesse. This is where it's going to boot right into desktop. So then, we're going to start off by setting up the, uh, the internet on it. So, let me go ahead and do that. Let me, uh, let me change camera views and put it in the tripod and we'll get right to that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and set the network. We're going to mouse over that. It's a lot smoother on this faster Pi, to be honest. Um, I haven't got the remote desktop set up, so I can't do the uh, screenshots yet for it. So let's go ahead and get up here and set our network up. We're going to go ahead and pick our network. And then we're going to enter our key. And we're going to click OK. And now we have our network up. And that's really simple to set up the network and get that initialized with the uh, with the uh, EDMAX or whatever the USB. It's all the same for all of them. Now, let me reposition the camera and let's get into the command shell. And let's start up the, or let's, uh, let's expand the file system first because we're still at the same size as the image was. So let me transfer the camera and I'll do that. Alright, okay, so we're going to hit menu. And we're going to go down to Preferences, and we're going to go down to Raspberry Pi Configuration. You can also get to this to the shell by typing um, uh, sudo um, raspy-config. So let's get that up. Okay. So we're going to go to expand the file system. We're going to click that right at the bat. It's a lot easier on the, the Jesse than the other ones. So that's that. Now we have the full full space to our, uh, our, our card. Okay, so let's go ahead and reboot. Alright, so the Pi is now rebooted and we have the full file system. So, let's go on to the next thing. We're going to go ahead and make sure everything's updated. So we're going to open up the terminal shell. So we're going to type sudo, which is the command or administrator prompt. Um, app dash uh, get. We're going to have it go out, get an app and do it, or update. DA. And we're going to hit enter, and it should go out and do all the stuff and check everything and make sure everything's good. <coughs> this will make sure we have all the packages and everything is up to date because we've waited to install this and, you know, things change. I do this every now and then. If I hadn't did it in a real long time, I would do upgrade. Um, yeah, we'll do upgrade too then. Let me uh, zoom in now. Zoom in a lot. So now we want to go ahead and put on the remote desktop so we can actually run this thing headless uh, without a monitor if we need to. So you want to do sudo. apt dash get button get it install um, x um, remote, rem, uh, x um, rdp remote desktop okay yeah we're gonna hit enter and it should go out and get it for us and install it yes I want to continue it's asking if we should use additional space yes And this will be how I save the image, or I probably won't, I'll just put a list of commands. Um, I'll start putting images on the website when we get things set up for like the security system I'm going to do later today. Uh, we're going to use the webcam one. And that's pretty much it. You can do whatever you want on your Raspberry Pi now. Everything is updated. It's got remote desktop set up on it. Um, if we go over here, 
you can look at the graphic package installation manager under preferences and then uh, add or remove software is what they have. And you can pick whatever you want. Um, let's say you want some ham radio stuff. Probably under communication packages. And then you can pick, you know, faxes and whatever else you want. It just depends. So, it has all the information at the bottom here on what it does. So you get that, you get games, you can do whatever. Um, have your own email and stuff. We're going to go ahead and set this up in the next video. We're going to download another image. And we're going to use that image and set up the... Uh, the network security cameras so that's it for this video uh, you know just want to give you a quick thing on how to get it set up and get the configuration everything running on it real quick real easy real simple just do the update commands and set up the networking and the remote desktop and you are good to go um, let me reboot and show you the remote desktop how that works let me go ahead and do that right now all right, so here's the remote desktop connection. This is the Microsoft One built in. We're going to go ahead and connect to the Raspberry Pi. This is the local IP address. So we're going to hit connect. I got the right mouse. Yeah, okay. Now it's going to say, oh, terrible things, and whatever, who cares? Yes, don't ask me again. I understand. This is how it works on Raspberry Pi. So let me back the camera out now. All right, so you get this screen next. We're going to go ahead and enter your password. The username is Pi. And the password is Raspberry. And it should let us right in. There we go. Now we have a remote desktop. Or will in a moment. So now we're controlling the Pi remotely. As you see here. It's a little bit slower. If I actually move the mouse on the Pi, you can't see it on this desktop, but you can actually access the Pi now this way. Now I can do screen captures and stuff, whatever we need to do. It'll just be a little bit slower. But that's it. And occasionally, in the upper corner here, sorry, you'll see a, a little like rainbow thing show up, or red. A rainbow square means that you're under voltage. Uh, you're not meeting your voltage requirements for certain apps. And red means you've got a temperature problem. So that's it basically. We're set up. We're good to go now. Now we can get on with installing uh, the image for the, for the uh, camera system. The remote security system, DVR. Alright, everybody have a great day. Rate, subscribe, all the good stuff. Ask questions, etc. Have a good one, bye. North Pepper out.